Hi, welcome you all to this fresh learning series on Open RAN. In this series, we would be covering Open Radio Access Networks from basics and gradually increase the level. Hence, if you are familiar with some topics, you can join from the level which is best fit for you. In this series, we would be starting from the origin of Open RAN. Then we will understand what is Open RAN. Then we will have some basic understanding on Open RAN terminologies. Later, we will go through to the Open RAN standards. We will understand the Open RAN design goals. We will understand the objectives behind the continuous evolutions in the Open RAN. Implementation on Open RAN. Implementation of Open RAN is not super easy. There are some challenges to implement ORAN in the real world. We will also talk about those challenges too. Okay, so let's start. In this session, we will have some brief about the origin of Open RAN. We will know what is Open RAN and what are the common terminologies of Open RAN. So, what is the origin of Open RAN? Well, there is a community named as Telecom Infra Project. In short, we call this TIP, which is led by the Facebook or Meta. There are many big giant companies and vendors from the domain of telecom operators, hardware suppliers, service providers, and also IT industry came together with the vision to innovate the radio access networks and overcome the biggest challenge of hardware and software dependency. They are collaborating to produce new products and solutions which can have the flexibility of interoperable. So, Telecom Infra Project TIP is a group of companies and organizations working to develop the generalized solutions and have a vision to develop the advanced global connectivity. Open RAN will provide the multi-vendor acceptance of the product and services and will allow the flexibility to choose from the wider scope of possibilities. And with the continuous development and innovations, they plan to offer new services to any operator worldwide. There are more big communities who are also working towards evolving the overall ecosystem of Open RAN, like ORAN Alliances form. However, these are theoretical knowledge, but do not skip this important information because it is really important to know for deciding a good career on any specific domain. It is super important to know that what companies and organizations are working in the field and actively participating in the development and implementation of technology. Anyway, let's talk about what is ORAN, Open Radio Access Network, all about. So the highly focused word is open. Open mean here that anything is not a property of any individual, company or organization. It can be anything like it can be a hardware, it can be a software, it can be an interface or it can be an API, source code, etc. This means operators will no longer bound to use a specific product from the provider. Because with Open RAN, operator will have the flexibility to choose hardware from one supplier, then they can choose software from another provider, API or source code from someone else, he can choose the interface, etc. Means this will allow operator or telcos to have more customization and flexibility to choose. This is a shift from property to courts. Courts means commercial of the self. So, from the RAN perspective, whatever the parts and components are present for radio access network, like hardware or software or the interface, etc., operator are bound to use all these things from a specific vendor or provider in the traditional RAN systems. And because of that, they have very specific ecosystem and they cannot go beyond that limitation. Means they may or may not have the tending features which other vendors are supporting but as an operator, you cannot use that until your existing provider starts supporting that feature. And that is the big reason why big organizations and giants came together for an effective solution and can be a win-win for all without any such dependency. So with Open RAN, the idea is to innovate the overall ecosystem of radio access networks and to shift from the property ecosystem to a non-property ecosystems. With this new non-property ecosystem, Operators can procure the hardware from one supplier or vendor, can choose the best fit software based on the budget, needs, etc. and can also choose for the user interface, UI, UX, etc. There would be no dependency on single provider. In that case, isn't a great news for operator? Of course, yes. The second important building block of Open RAN is software. There are few more communities like ONAP. This is with the collaboration by ORAN Alliances. This community has the major focus on evolving the software functions. The vision is to come up with new and trending features. 
The goal is also to overcome the problems and issues in the current open RAN ecosystems by debugging them and solving them. Another important factor of open RAN is cloud or cloudification. This is equally important because in the traditional RAN systems, the resource utilization are very unbalanced. In some areas, they are underutilized and in some other areas, they are overutilized. Hence, the user experience is not consistent. So this is expected that this highly unbalanced situation with the current RAN system can be improved with open RAN ecosystem. And the overall efficiency of the system can be increased and end users can experience the better and more consistent services. Another interesting factor which can push open RAN to new heights is acceptance of third-party applications and features, which also include the highly trending technology of AI, artificial intelligence and machine learning. How? We will talk about that little later, but definitely with the help of these trending technology, the efficiency of the overall system will definitely improve to new heights, which has not been achieved with the current RAN ecosystems yet. Also, there is a shift of disaggregated RAN, where the different functionalities are being disaggregated in open RAN. So, some of the functionalities could be closer to the user, and you can say closer to cell and site, which are real-time sensitive features, and other functions which are non-real-time sensitive can be taken away from the cell and site, like maybe at higher level or maybe at regional level. They can be operated from backend, where latency do not affect the services much. In traditional ecosystem, this you can relate like some decisions BTS or E node B or G node B takes by itself, which need to be handled quick. And for some decisions, E node B or G node B talks with MME or S gateway or P gateway, etc. So at the moment, these are the six main pillars of open RAN. These are number one allows non property product and services. Number two is disaggregation. Number three allows open source features. Number four, softwares and APIs. Number five, cloudification. Number six, AI, artificial intelligence and machine learning. Well, there is a small note for you all about the ORAN terms which generally used. ORAN with the hyphen in between is associated with ORAN alliances. Open RAN with the space or ORAN without hyphen sign refers to general term of Open RAN and Open RAN without a space generally used by telecom infra projects. Tip: Do not confuse, just memorize it as all are working towards the enhancement of Open RAN and evolving the overall Open Radio Access Network ecosystem. Now, let's quickly talk about the communities and groups who are working towards standardizing the Open RAN ecosystem. I already told about the TIP Telecom Infra project, which is working towards the new innovations in the Open RAN system. Another ORAN community we heard is ORAN Alliances, which is developed by some of the big giant operators worldwide like AT&T, T-Mobile, Orange, NTT, etc. They are working to develop the open specification and standardizing them. Another form is front hall. They are a small cell forum and working to develop the front hall which connects the radio units with the distribution unit. In traditional RAN, this interface is currently property interface. And this small cell forum has the goal to develop an open interface to replace the property interfaces. There is one more community named as Open RAN Policy Coalition. They have the responsibility to create the generalized policies along with the policymakers, regularities, and government bodies. This is very important before the deployment of any new feature and services and product used by the telecom industry and operators. Last but not the least, the another important community is ORAN Software Community. And you may already guess they have the responsibility to innovate the software development in the open RAN domain. You might wonder, but software part going to play a very crucial and important role in the ORAN ecosystem. Unlike traditional RAN, because traditional RAN is more focused on the hardware front and their development. But Open RAN will have more focus on the software front and that is why ORAN Alliances is creating multiple softwares and features and functions with the collaboration of Linux Foundation. In the next session, we will be talking about the benefits of open RAN deployment from the operators and telcos perspective. And we will also talk about the core challenges in the open RAN deployment. So stay tuned for the updates. If you did not subscribe till now, then please do subscribe to learn and grow community for regular updates. 
If this video is informative, then please like this video, comment on video and don't forget to share. Thank you for watching.